really slept on it. He really, he really started getting that work because Frank and I um, do extra something every day after workouts. What's it like being in the weight room with uh, Rennell and kind of him, him pushing you every day? Rennell makes us all feel weak because <laughs> he's just so strong. He's, he's really a freak. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to see what he could do. Is he kind of the guy that everyone in the weight room is trying to catch, or is it not even? No, you can't catch Rennell in the weights. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just when he's lifting, you just can just sit there and stare and all. <laughs> It's hard to say because because everything you see with Herm is, is is how he acts around us. He's a real genuine person. He, he doesn't change for anybody or, or any situation. So um, what he's telling you, what he's telling all the media, um, it's, it's it's really just if 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 you don't want to believe it, then you don't you don't have to believe it. We believe it. We believe in ourselves. What you what you think when he got the job though, not really knowing him and that kind of personality, just the TV personality? I never thought of him as a TV personality. I knew him from the Under Armour game, so um, it was just really picking up where we left off. Do you feel like it's important for you this? this possibly could be your last year that um, you're really helping the younger guys, maybe like Curtis and, and Jordan, to that they can carry on that wide receiver legacy going forward when you are gone? Yeah, of course. I, that, that, that's just my mindset with, with, with everybody. Um, not, not just people at my school. Um, I want to be able to help out anybody if I can. If, if, if somebody hits me up on social media and I see it, asking me for tips or anything, I'll try to help them because I truly want to do anything I can to, to, to help somebody. Has that happened where people have hit you up on social media and kind of asked your um, opinion on their tape? Yeah, it, it happens a lot and I feel bad because sometimes I don't see them all because there's so many. Um, but whenever I can make a difference in someone's life, I, I definitely will take the chance. Do you think it got around? Like once one person did it, then it, do they just start coming? <laughs> probably, probably around certain communities, yeah. What kind of advice have you given out? Um, I mean, do you like go film yourself and then sit it back to them or not? <laughs> no, nah, I, just, I just really usually tell them how I got to where I'm at today. You know, in high school, um, I never really expected to, to be where I was at. Um, and once I got ranked, um, I thought to myself, this is crazy, why not me? And and that's when I really started putting in work. Um, I've never let any hype or anything get to my head. I've always remained humble. And um, I just I just want to work, that's it. I just want to support my family and, and, and help my family. Have you given out techniques or um, I just really tell them what I did in high school. Um, my senior year, once, once I really realized I have a chance to go into the NFL. Um, I started doing everything extra. Um, after my sixth hour workouts with the school, I would do my own workout. Mm -hmm. After after track practice, I would go do another workout. Um, and, and that's the mentality I, I, I carry with me to this day. And that's the mentality I try to get to, to younger kids. How much do you miss basketball? I miss basketball daily. Um, basketball was my first love with sports and and that's something i truly do miss daily you got that old twitter account that's like Nikhil <laughs> loves basketball i ball for a living <laughs> i ball for a living yeah. yeah 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 so i mean you're you're in this situation where the receiver room's so talented but everybody's so different you got frank from the east coast you got kyle who wants to be a doctor you know you you came from like a, a flag football background basketball player and you know things blew up for you and, and the team depends on you how does it all mesh um it's a brotherhood. Just when, when you grind that way with, with those people, when you hurt so much with those people, it really makes you closer. Because there's been days, even recently, where we'll be going through a workout and sometimes you think to yourself, I don't know if I can make it. And I know a lot of days, the only reason I made it through some of the workouts is because of my teammates. And, and, and they lifted me up and, and really helped me persevere through, through the tough times. Speaking of teammates, Manny Wilkins is over there and, you know, is a really interesting – so you've been, this is going on his fifth year. You know, you had other talented quarterbacks there. You know, your friend Bryce and Brady White and Blake Barnett. You know, he, he beats everybody out. 
And every once in a while, there'll be a statistic on Twitter or something that you'll retweet that shows, like, he has the most deep balls of anybody last year or something like that. But it doesn't feel like a whole lot of people talk about him. Does that work on, in his favor, kind of going under the radar like that? Or is that something that, as his teammate and somebody who knows his talent, is that someone that, that gets under your skin? Um, it doesn't really get under my skin too much because he doesn't let it get under his skin. Um, I've, I've personally seen Manny get completely bashed by, by fans, media, all type of things and, and he's persevered through all of it. Uh, he works extremely hard. He's he's the he's the leader of the team and I feel like he, he, he really will lead us to the promised land. What's it like having Derek It's a lot of knowledge. Um, he was one of the greatest wide receivers to ever play at ASU and it's it's really a blessing to be able to be coached by by somebody like him. When you do you talk to him, do you think that could be me one day, or you know, looking at those, those Sun Devil records, how he's kind of plastered all over the walls of the, the facilities and things like that? Um, I want to I want to be better. I want to I want to break all those records. I want to I want to do all of that. Um, and 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 he wants that for me too. He, he wants me to go out there and be the best player I could be, and uh, it's very helpful. He's been very helpful so far. What's the best advice he's given you? Um, really just on-field stuff, how to get out my routes, um, how to beat press, stuff stuff that's really going to help me at this level and the next level. What's that like? Because you just said, you know, Derek Kagan wants you to be better. So does Jalen Strong. What's it like having all of the kind of the ASU legends at, at your position in your corner wanting you to be everything that you know that you were kind of promised to be it's it's amazing just just seeing how much they believe in me um just because some days as a football player it it, it gets rough and there's times especially being a wide receiver um where, where you think man this this is rough this is going to be a, this is going to be a rough game it's going to be a rough season and knowing that they believe in me makes makes me want it that much more well, I see you guys, you and Chase always, um, on a lot of your Twitter posts, will do that hashtag 480 at the end of it. How important was it this year that you saw a lot of um, Arizona kids commit, that you guys maybe um, are seeing these kids come back after a couple of years where there wasn't too many that were um, going to ASU? It's great because I feel like there's so much talent in Arizona, and I feel like Arizona is a state that's very slept on. And a lot of kids, a lot of the best recruits get out of the state of Arizona, or that was the trend uh, the past couple of years. So imagine if, if, if Christian Kirk would have stayed home. Imagine if some of those guys would have stayed home. Where, where would ASU be? Do you feel like you and Chase have maybe a, a small part in helping that um, come back? Um, a little bit. I feel like DJ Foster was, was the one who really started that hometown trend, and, and I feel like Chase and I just continued it. How much extra responsibility are you going to have this year and maybe your first couple of years? Um, a lot more because everybody's looking at me now, um, especially my teammates. Um, I want to be one of the leaders on this team, and I, I want to be the guy that, that can be depended on in the fourth quarter. How have you seen yourself change and evolve as a leader over your time in college? Um, Really, with 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 the off the field stuff, you know, um, just priding myself on on the responsibility, being everywhere on time, um, doing everything right, um, and I, I just want to be that guy that everybody looks up to and, and is really a role model, a positive role model. Is that a tough mental challenge, just having to balance all of those different responsibilities and trying to do everything right? It gets tough at times, um, especially because there's days you wake up and it's just, it's just for some reason harder than the other. Um, but you learn to adjust to that and, and you learn to really take that as you go. How important was a guy like Manny kind of helping you take those steps to grow? It was extremely important because um, when I first got to campus, it was, it was rough for me just adjusting to the speed of the game and really relying on my technique because in high school, I didn't really rely on my technique too much. It was, I was relying on my athleticism. And, Manny helped me so much because when I first got there, my confidence level was not as high as I was used to it being just because it was so rough for me to, to adjust. And, and he made sure that, that I stayed confident and, and I stayed positive. One of the reasons you committed to Arizona State was to stick around, be close to your grandmother, Felma. 
what has that been like? I mean, two years into the process, you know, you've had a chance to be to be around family, to, to stay home. It, is it everything that you kind of envisioned? It, it, it truly is everything I envisioned. Um, before I committed to Arizona State, I, I saw myself running out of that tunnel and I saw I saw my grandma just, just, just sitting there being extremely proud of me. And I, before I committed, I wanted to make sure I could be there for my grandmother if she ever needed anything. I'm, I'm just down the road. And most of all, she's, she's been there for me. Um, college hasn't been the easiest thing. It, it hasn't been the easiest thing to adjust to. Him, and my grandmother's been right by my side since day one. You and uh, Byron Murphy, Yes, sir. Um, yeah, uh, we're always talking smack to each other. It's all love. Um, that's that's one matchup I'm extremely excited for. What do you think? Um, I can't really make a prediction. Uh, it's, it's it's hard to say just because you never really know what's going to happen. Like, he's seen pretty well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I feel like last season was his, was his season to, to break out, and and when that injury happened, it really did hurt me. But, but I feel like that's something he could learn from. That's something that can make him stronger, and make him a better player. What haven't, what haven't you shown yet? What haven't you shown? What 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 are you looking as far as just developing your game and showing this year on the field? Um, really, just. Showing my speed, showing showing that that I can separate from defensive backs. Um, of course, blocking. Um, I just want to show that that, that I'm the, that I could be the total package every season.